the Double T Association is proud to induct Red Raider Shane Ryan into the Texas Tech Athletic Hall of Fame.
to my teammates who were a heck of a lot better than I was. I had some good ones. I was blessed to have you. I was blessed to walk on the field with you. We had an awesome run. We won two Big 12 titles. We beat the Aggies both times to win. We never lost a series to the Horns. Three years, we went two out of three at the Horns, went in the dish block twice, took two out of three from them. In fact, one time, the, uh, one of our, another Hall of Fame member left a, an imprint on the scoreboard with a home run. And uh, we'll, we'll never forget that. I, I never forget going in the dish block and doing that. Twice we hosted NCAA regionals. Number one in the nation we reached in 1997. Nothing to do with tonight me being here would have been possible without those guys. Coach here, Coach Hayes, Coach Larry Hayes is here tonight. Most of you know Larry Hayes and his wife Nell wasn't able to be here tonight. Coach Hayes poured his uh, life into this program, as most of you know, for 23 years. 23 plus years. He was still involved more so than people think. And it takes a special spouse of his, Nell, to, to be able to give up all that time to her husband to pour his heart and soul into his, into his passion and his mission. Uh, I can't thank you both enough for giving me the opportunity to be a Red Raider. You ran a clean program. You demanded integrity at all times. You were a wonderful example to young men who are just trying to figure out the path of all life. Now, I used to be known for doing a pretty good Coach Hayes impersonation. Now, living in Minnesota, the accents are pretty drastically different, so I'm not, I'm not seasoned in this. I'm a little out of practice, but... But at the end of each practice, Coach Hayes would always pull our team together. And he would always say something similar. He always had a funny nickname for us, and I don't want to embarrass him, so I won't always say those nicknames. But one thing he always said to us is, y'all need to go out there, you need to be good people, y'all need to be good citizens, and y'all need to represent Texas Tech University in class. And he said that at the end of every practice, it's something that I'll never forget. I'll never forget those words that he spoke to us every day. But finally, I don't know if you remember this, Coach, but you paid me a compliment once that will stick with me for life. It's one of the greatest compliments I've ever received. And uh, I get emotional even thinking about it. Uh, after losing our final game in, in regionals in, in 1999, which would be my last game in a Red Raider uniform, I had for the first time after any loss of uncontrollable tears. It was overwhelming to think that I wouldn't be putting on a Red Raider uniform. You put your arm around me and you said, and everybody called me a ride. I didn't have a really big name, that was it. He goes, he goes, ride? I've rode a lot of horses in my day, and I ain't even ridden a horse like you. And to this day, I reflect back on that. I don't know if you know how much that meant to me. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the ball and letting me be a horse. <laughs> Texas Tech University as a whole, 
Uh, and all of you who voted for me, I have no clue who that is. I have no clue who nominated me. I was floored at that. To this day, I, I just I thought it was a joke. I can't thank you guys enough. The academics and support staff that I had were, were awesome. I couldn't have got through without them. Signing up for class the day before, and I, I was halfway smart, but wait till the last second to get classes. There was a lot of support staff there that helped get me through. I can't thank you guys enough. Gus, you worked your tail off to put this together. You're a busy man. Probably going on Wall Street somewhere. <laughs> You've done an amazing job with this and the Double T Association, both you and Crystal. Thank you very much. To the boosters who kept our program and facilities current, we always had everything we needed to be successful. And there were a lot of boosters that were involved. They kept us running with the top-notch program. We never felt like we were missing anything. Rip Griffin, Jim Sal, I don't know if you guys are here, but you guys kept our program running. Rip Griffin was at almost every practice. And it was unbelievable to see him out there all the time. They were a big reason why we were successful. To Sneed and Tech Eclipse, <laughs> you guys know who they are. You were a huge part of putting our program on the map. I hope you know that. You gave us home field advantage, rarely matched in college baseball. You gave us an edge. To the Tech fans coming to the yard every day to play in front of you was a pleasure and honor. We were consistently in the top ten of the nation in attendance every year. I'll never forget Raider Power Chance on Friday night against Oklahoma State my first year here. You literally shook the field. I, I thought I was in a dream world. And finally, I love winning more than anything. I love taking the ball and towing the rubber to the tune of Thunderstruck. I love beating the Aggies. I love blowing the horns. And I was really proud of our, our two Big 12 titles. I wanted nothing more than to go to Omaha. But the most important and eternal benefit I got from my experience at Texas Tech was the relationships that were formed, bar none, not even debatable. Teammates, staff, friends, and coaches alike. Steve and Tyler, we formed a band of brothers. We formed a group of brothers that will stick together for life. There are too many names on the list here, but they know who they are. We truly have a band of brothers from our time here at Tech. And as many of you know, we lost a brother last year, Mark Oscar, as he collapsed and died at the end of a half marathon uh, in Dallas. You saw that band of brothers at his funeral. You saw that band of brothers on the field together. You saw that band of brothers as we traveled Scotland and Ireland together. But if there's one thing I learned at Texas Tech and from our band of brothers, take advantage of your time with loved ones. Uh, take advantage of your opportunities in life. And always leave it out on the field. 